right guys welcome back to another um, I guess episode of easy to play guitar today we're gonna to be looking at a really cool song um, it was originally done by Sammy Johns and then Eric Church redone it and uh, it's a really fun super cool song and I thought it'd be a good one to show you guys really easy song it's only got three chords in it and uh, we'll run over the chords real quick and then uh, we'll talk about the strumming pattern this song is going to be capoed on the third fret so for demonstration purposes we'll take the capo off to show you the regular chord pattern if you guys already know chords I'm going to put a timestamp right down here and that way you can skip to the uh, intro and first verse and for those that don't know the chords we'll go over them real quick so we're going to start with a D chord first finger is going to be on the G string or your third string up in the second fret your middle finger will be on the baby string or the high E string or the very bottom string also in the second fret and your ring finger is going to go on the second string up in the third fret and you're going to strum from here down your D string down and this is what it sounds like okay the second chord we're going to go over is the A string the A chord and that is played on your second fret and what we're going to do is um, I play it with one finger you may want to play it with two fingers, three fingers, whatever you feel comfortable with, but this is your A string, so it's left open, and the next string down, the next string down, and the next string down will all receive a finger on them. And it'll sound like this. I'll play it with two fingers, and it's a little easier to show you guys. Let's say you strum from here down. Is your A chord and the last chord is a G and that's going to be here it's going to be your root note which is the G this finger goes here and this finger will go here it also sounds good if you put your pinky finger on the very bottom string for this song and this is what it's going to sound like Like all the songs that I show you guys, the chord name is going to be right down here on this side. And during the chords, as you noticed over here, there's going to be the fingering pattern or chord chart, whatever you prefer to call it. So let's get right into it. Like I say, go ahead and put your capo on the third fret. And your guitar and all open strings will sound like this. So let's start with the intro. Alright, the intro is going to be a D chord. Remember your capo is going to serve the same as here. So this would be the first fret and second fret. So let's start with the D. Now let's just look at the rhythm just for a minute. some palm meeting you use the meaty part of your hand to kind of push down and just barely let it touch the strings it gives it that cool kind of mellow clicky sound So the intro is four bars of D. And it's going to 
start the verse, which is also D. The, all the verses just stay in the D chord. So you're going to be looking at D chord for the entire first verse with that rhythm. full speed and run through it one more time. So let's take a look at verse number two. Let's be here. 
So there's a couple of different ways that you can sing that second verse. Just put your own twist on it and that way you kind of do your own thing. Have fun with it. That's the best thing about playing one of these guitars is putting your own little flavor to it and having fun with it. All right, after the second verse, we're all in D. We're gonna go right back into the chorus and it's the same as the first time. Chevy Van, Eric Church done it. It was super awesome. If you guys haven't seen that, take a look at it on YouTube. There's a couple of great videos of him playing it. I know he did it at The Rock and it was amazing. But anyway guys, like always, have fun with your guitar. Take it step by step. Have fun with it. That's the best thing about playing guitar. Like always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you picked up a little something. Like always, be sure to hit that like button if you like it, and also click that subscribe button. It don't cost you a dime, it's totally free, and that way you will always know when we come out with something great. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time.